Hey guys, welcome back. And if you are new here, I'm Mike, a GP working in Manchester, UK. And in this short video, I'm going to take you on a tour of my productivity desk setup in 2021 and share with you the top five must haves of remote working. Before I start, just a massive thank you to anyone and everyone that has been watching this channel. And thanks so much for your support and comments. Right, let's dive straight in and let me show you the things that I have that make this new way of life as bearable as possible, says the guy in a 400 pound office chair. I will present to you five items in order of importance, but I will actually leave the most important one for last. So if you don't want to wait for that, <laughs> feel free to use the chapters below to get straight to it. Now, without going into too much detail, I had the most horrible coccyxodynia when I started working from home in my 10 year old IKEA office chair. And I even bought a well researched fanny cushion to try to help with that six months later of constant pain and I just got fed up and I bought a proper office chair. Within two weeks, my pain was a distant memory. Yep, that is Secret Lab. And you basically choose the model according to your height. So I'm 187 centimeters tall. So I went for the Titan model. Oh my Lord, it is like heaven on my ass. Retail price is 399 pounds and it is worth every penny or pence, of course riser. Now in this video, which is one of my first videos, so it still makes me cringe just a little bit, I demonstrate the easiest way to acquire what is now lovingly referred to as zoom neck, which is basically neck pain from constantly hunching over your laptop or iPad. I bought this riser and it was exactly what I needed to maintain relatively good posture on those dreaded zoom calls or Microsoft Teams meetings. Retail is about 30 to 40 quid. Now if you are using a riser, which you must quite frankly, you need a separate key Keyboard because typing on your laptop on a riser I think is actually pretty dangerous and I'm pretty sure it's illegal. This wireless Logitech keyboard is absolutely amazing. I do all of my touch typing practice on it and the keys just feel great. But it also has one amazing function. So by pressing the one or two numbers here, I can switch between it being paired with my home laptop, which is a MacBook Pro and my GP practice laptop, which is actually a PC and it does it seamlessly. So I would highly recommend this keyboard. Retail is $99.99. Next is a mouse. And I'm not being funny here, but no one should be using the touchpad or trackpad on their laptop unless you are practicing a Halloween witch hand. So again, I went for wireless because I just like my desk to be nice and tidy. And this mouse also has that really cool computer switching function. And finally, it's big enough to sit really comfortably in my hand. Unlike the Apple wireless mouse, which for me is just a little bit too narrow and a little bit too thin. Retail is $59.99. Right, I promised you a bonus at the end. This is the single most important item you need to survive remote working. It took me about six months of interrupted Zoom calls and about four to five panic calls to my broadband provider. But when I finally realized what I needed, it was literally a life changer. And it is only £29. It's called the TP-Link Powerline Adapter. A what, sorry? <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly. So it's basically a pair of devices, so two devices, and they plug into power sockets. You plug one right next to your router and you plug the other one in the room that you have your computer. And with ethernet cables, which are just basically internet cables, you connect your router to the adapter in the router room and you connect your computer to the adapter in your computer room. And that way you are relying on cable internet and not on Wi-Fi, which really tends to play up to be honest, especially if you have things like ring doorbells or ring alarms. So I have not had a crackly zoom line since getting them, at least not from my side. I would highly, highly, highly <laughs> recommend these. Right, that's it guys. I hope that was informative. If you did find that useful, give me a thumbs up and like this video and you can also leave a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please subscribe. You can also email me directly. Otherwise, good luck.